The other question. When KUKA makes these things, do they make them? They don't make them like this anymore. Well, but do they make them <laughs> specific to a purpose, or do they? Some of their stuff is custom made, but most of it comes off as a standard model, mm -hmm. and then the integrator customizes it. The integrator is a guy that, like, when you buy your robot, you don't buy it from KUKA. Mm -hmm. You buy it from the integrator, mm -hmm. who is a dude that he takes the robot and uh, combines that with usually a custom end effector, you know, end of arm tooling, mm -hmm. and all the PLC stuff and the integration and the networking and all that jazz. And they put all that together. That's, that's what an integrator does. So robots, especially like this, tend to be very highly customized. But KUKA just sells the robot. They don't sell you know, the welding stuff to go with it and all that crap. That's, that's your, your integrator dude does all that. So that's where, really where your uh, dedicated purposes start to come in. Yeah, yeah, the integrator yeah. gets into the custom stuff. No, good to know. Do you know what the turnaround time is on them building one of these things? I have no idea. Oh. I'd imagine most of them are stock items. This particular robot is kind of unusual, though. This was a custom job. Mm -hmm. There were only three made. One of them was destroyed when they took it out of the factory. Why? Just accident? Yeah, yeah. just they, they don't survive that kind of thing well often. And uh, it was destroyed just in a re removal process. Mm -hmm. One of them is in the KUKA Museum in Augsburg, Germany. Mm -hmm. And this is the third. So this is the only one in the wild. And we're taking it into little tiny pieces. <laughs> So now the only one left is the one in the KUKA Museum. So it's, it's every bolt I take out of this makes theirs that much more valuable and rare and special. Well, I'm sure they appreciate it. Oh, yeah, totally. Hey, yeah. Are these stubborn pliers? They look like it. They're a really weird set. Those are indeed snapping pliers. Well, thank God for small pliers. Yeah, they're prepared just like it. Yeah? Yeah. That's good, because if I get near them again, you know, you might need them. Hey, where's my safety goggles? Behind you, on your neck. Oh, <laughs> thank you. No Appreciate problem. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you always want to wear safety goggles if you're using snap ring players. Yeah, we have another set of those, we only have different bits or different tips for them. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah, these are way better than the other ones. I'll go grab a box of bits. Yeah, you grab a we, screwdriver. we're going to need the box of bits. Yeah, grab me a screwdriver. All right, see this ring? Yeah. This was put in with a spanner like that. Okay. So we don't have that. So what you so do we're is put that there. Get up top. Yeah. How about I uh, take a chisel? Just like that. And knock okay. it loose. And then once it's loose, you can turn it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. It'll pop right out. If you do that, I'm Good. gonna get that circle out. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to take a minute here and talk about circlips. Now, a circlip is a piece of spring steel that it's, it's a circular spring that either expands out into a groove like this. You can see the groove set in there. And this is the snap ring or circlip. And there's two little holes in the end of it. And the way it works is you use a special pair of pliers with little pins. And you put these in the holes and squeeze it together and you make the outer diameter of the ring smaller. Well, that part is easy. They also, by the way, make these that work the other way where they shrink around the outside of something. Those are commonly called E-clips. But what you want to do is get your tool on there. And in a best case scenario, you can just shrink it enough to pull it right out. That never happens. So here's how to do it in the real world. You get a tool wedged in behind it like that. And now it'll fly out at high velocity and shoot you in the chest. But there's your circlip right there. You can see the two little holes. And the two little holes are where the pins on this go through. And if you want to put it back in, for some godforsaken reason, you can <laughs> you just put those in there and squeeze it together. And it's a whole different fight to get it back in the hole. I'm not going to teach you that because <laughs> I don't want to put it back in the hole. I, I just I don't want to suffer that much. I've had enough pain for the day. So yeah, there's there's your basic circlips. Come on in, take your coat off. Andy's here. 
Andy doesn't get a mic. Got it. We only have two wireless mics, so we're, you'll just get picked up by ours. Okay. All right, help him. What are we doing? He doesn't really know. Uh, I'm taking these uh, arms off of here so we can get this free. So I'm spinning this around. Huh? How do they come off? Well, they have a uh, set ring down there. Yeah. Well, I took one of those off already. And this side I'm working on right now, that one was actually in really good condition. Yeah. This side's How's rusty pretty Is good. Working? Yeah, I spun it once already. I'm oh, it's moving already? Yeah. Okay, well, on your side. So um, basically, I'm going to. Uh, well, since the duck ran off of the tool I was using. What tool? That one. What tool? Uh huh. I got nothing. Hang on a second. Uh, I'll use this. This is like one of those things they make a special tool. Uh, yeah, it's called a spanner. And because it's rusty, I gotta get it past the point. But once you get it turning, theoretically, there should be enough grease. Off it comes. It's like working on my motorcycle, every single part has a different tool. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of motorcycle is it? It's a 1982 Honda CX500. Yeah, uh, yeah. See, if you had a real bike, like the uh, mid 70s CB550s, you need three wrenches and take the whole bike apart. Well, I yeah. can do most of that, but like the, the clutch needed a special tool. So I just got the, whatever the, the socket is, all the buttons. Mm -hmm. I've got a uh, 80, 85 CB450. So. I got a 75 CB550. Yep. It's a man's bike. It's a real bike. That's a real uh -huh. bike. It's a real bike. It's yeah. what all the cool kids ride. Yeah. Right. Still didn't keep you from popping away on mine. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, I took his mic up the road. Wow! Yeah. He's like, why is the steering so loose? And he looks down and he's like, <gasps> <laughs> Yeah, like, that steering on this thing sucks. It's all floppity. Yeah, front wheel isn't touching the ground. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I get the front wheel off the ground on mine if I really, even if I really wanted to. Yeah, my Which brother's is a good got the thing same bike. Beginner's as him. bike. Yeah. The only thing is that it's a little bit heavy for a beginner's bike. Yeah. It's, it's a little top heavy. Are you done yet? Here. Yeah, actually. Um, You're done. What's next? Off? What's next? Well, what's Did next step? Yeah, I got the ring yeah, out. But, I mean, oh, um. Next step is. Pull this out. This this should be detached. Okay. Um, so pop this up. At the point that this is up, we should be able to hammer that bar off. Do you go for it? Just lever it up. Yeah, lever it up. There you go. And hey, 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 hey. Cool. What? All right, lever this out. This is this. this no, is that isn't gonna happen. No. No, mm -hmm. we got to figure out how to move that whole upper assembly to get that out. Oh, we just um, took out but the. But you're uh, cool there. All right, so fold that up. Okay. Now. Find out what holds this in place. It should just be friction. Uh, a little crowbar action here to separate that. You ain't gonna do it with that. Actually chisel, maybe? Yeah. Spread it? Yeah. No, not it's with not, that. Yeah, it's not thing. Thick, you're huh? gonna need something serious. So you need you're gonna need a big cold chisel. We got an axe? No, you're gonna need a big cold chisel. Uh they're in the chisels box up in yeah. tools. I Just get the whole box of chisels. I, yeah, I thought we had one, but. Here. There you go. All right, you've got as much as you're going to get. All right, we want. Ooh, ooh, that's. A really big one. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's a good it. start. Here, you work with that one. I'm going to. I want a short. That's what I want. All right, you work with that one. I'm going to try this one. Here you go. Here's your hammer. Yeah, this is the easy way. Ignore that. This is the one you're going to want in a second. <laughs> All right, fine. See, this is a friction fit around here. Watch out for that. It comes out with a little bit of energy.